and every time you open this, you kind of want to die. It smells like a unicorn took a fart. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Dream Garage Build. So today, we are going to be doing something for you motorcycle guys out there. This is my 2006 DR650. Um, this is still part of the Dream Garage build, but why am I talking about my motorcycle? Well, you see, I had to sell my motorcycle lift in order to build my ultimate Dream Garage here. But now I don't have a motorcycle lift, and I don't want to buy one, I just have the car lift. So what I'm gonna do is retrofit my car lift with a quick connect drop-in wheel chalk and a motorcycle jack stand so I can work on my motorcycles. I also have a sidecar motorcycle with the sidecar on the left. So I have to keep that in mind as to sidecar on the right. <laughs> so I have to keep that in mind. So I think I'm going to install the wheel chalk on the left side of the lift so when I pull my sidecar motorcycle on it will fit on the right side of the lift. All right, so behind me is my drone updating. Uh, I haven't flown this thing in over a year. I had a little accident with it. Um, overconfident and crashed it into a tree, broke the camera off. So I just recently fixed it and now it's doing it to one of its many software updates. So let's see what I have to retrofit on this car lift. All right, so what I have here is uh, just the traditional wheel chalk. I will put a link in the description below um, for this wheel chalk. But the reason I got it is because it had this crossbar. So let's assemble it so we can see if it actually helps me out or not. I don't see any instructions. Uh, here they are. Wonderful. Okie dokie, seven pages of instructions, wonderful. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. Ugh. So pretty easy here to assemble, uh, six bolts and eight nuts. So I ran into this issue before. If you're putting a bolt on a motorcycle chalk, make sure the bolt goes in and the long side goes out, the head of the bolt goes in. Uh, otherwise, that is long enough to puncture your tire when your tire slides into here. I don't know the exact distance, these are adjustable, so I'm just gonna put it where I think I need it. Since I have four motorcycles, I'm sure they all look different, so that doesn't really make a difference to me. Oh, this is, must be one of the easiest things I've assembled on this channel thus far. Thank goodness. It actually looks like I can bolt this in. So I'm not even going to use this. Nothing under this lift that will cause a problem. So, that's perfect. So I'm going to show you what we're working with right here. Um, so, the wheel chalk comes with four bolt holes, I assume, so you can put it in a in a motorcycle trailer on your ground. Uh, that's a stability bar in case you just want to rest it on the ground. That thing will hold the bike sturdy. What I actually think I'm going to do is just make sure this is equidistant right in the middle here. Mark some holes. See if I have a drill. Drill these holes. And what I will do is just get some like carter pin bolts in the future. So when I want to work on this, I just push down and then a pin pops out below so I don't have to thread nuts or whatever so it's quick this is exactly what I was looking for let's look underneath here quick so basically 
Um, there is nothing that's in the way. All the hydraulics are on that. This is actually perfect. Perfect solution. So I'm gonna do that right now. For all of you that don't know, this is a twin bush um, lift. I got it from Obsessed Garage. You can buy it from wherever you want. The track here is 18 inches. Let's mark out the chalk. The chalk is eight and a quarter. 18 here too. So. One thing we gotta check is if the front tire is here, how much space do we have the lengthwise? That's the biggest concern I see. So it looks like front tire being right about three quarters of the way up the, the mount. 170 inch wheel space, or wheel base. So this bike is about 160. Woo, that's close. So I don't know if my other bike bikes will fit. Then I just gotta drill holes. Because these holes would be too far forward because there's a plate out underneath for rigidity, I guess. But if I move it a bit forward, I can drill holes in the plate here, which should be fine as well. I'll just go through drill bits. So that's what I'm going to do. It might fall. Hopefully not. Well, there you have it, Jen. Simple little task, simple video of how I made my twin bush car lift into a bike lift. Thank you. 100 bucks. 150 bucks, something like that. 
Uh, they are easily, I'm not going to bolt this back one on. And uh, the front is bolted on two quick bolts, but I have all the tools in the world to quickly do that. But now it's going to make bike, bike working easier. I'll be able to do the oil while standing. If I really want, this still goes up quite a bit. Um, as I said earlier, this is a motorcycle jack. So if I jack it up more, the rear tire comes off. I can work on the tires. But yeah, this is exactly what I hoped for. Uh, exactly what I env envisaged. I didn't really Google if anyone else has done this before. Uh, I would hope so. Because if I invented this shit, the rest of you are dumb. <laughs> what else I've decided to do is I just put all the cleaning stuff in here. And every time you open this, you kind of want to die. It smells like a unicorn took a fart. Um, so, I have cleaned out this weird room I have here, which actually works perfectly. It was for my solar panels. And I have ordered some stainless steel shelving to go all the way here for my all of the cleaning stuff. I've ordered a hose reel for my pressure washer hose to go right here. Right here is a vacuum I'm going to install right here. Um, so this will be my whole cleaning room. So this will be my whole cleaning room. It works out perfectly. Uh, it's, it's heated there. That room's heated. So in the winter, all the cleaning stuff won't freeze. Uh, it's right where my cars are anyway. It's right where the water is. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. So to finish this dream garage build off, I've got one more set of cabinets to build. Different brand. I want to show you what the difference is in the brand. Those cabinet sets cost $6,000. That one cost $1,000, which is crazy. Uh, finishing off the detail room. And then a couple of unboxings. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Until next time. See you then.